Hey everyone, we are here today talking about temperament testing. We know that is such a cool thing that we offer to our clients. It's so beneficial, um, but what we're seeing is that as we're evolving and learning and growing, that our temperament test and the way that we do it has also evolved and we've come up with a new way that is even more beneficial for us and then also for you in the long run. Um, Carol, can you tell us a little bit about how we're gonna be doing things differently now? Sure. Um, this new temperament assessment that we're doing is actually a much more in-depth look at our puppies. The old temperament test, it's just what we're referring to it as now, um, was just a window in time when the puppies are seven weeks old. Um, it's actually required that someone who's never been around the puppies before be the person who tests them so we can see how they react in a new environment. So the problems with the older tests that we were doing, as great as they are, they really did a great job matching and lining up our clients. We've been very good with that, but we were noticing that if, if we're gonna critique and say things were off, is it, we're seeing puppies at times where it would say, unsure to start, but we'll adjust. Well, we'll adjust to what? Right. What happens then? So we had a couple of clients who would get puppies that in their temperament test looked a little bit nervous or where they hadn't adjusted, or maybe they'd just weaned from mom, something like that was going on, and the test isn't quite as accurate as what we would like. So we began thinking, maybe we need a broader window. Maybe we need to look at the puppies. And then we would always get questions when people were looking at the temperament test. It would say things like, um, puppy is a little unfocused, but this should improve with training. Right. Well, will it? What will it mean? not? Right. What does that mean? So the, the way we're doing temperament tests now, or temperament assessments now, is we actually start at four weeks of age, at around 30 days, and we do a preliminary assessment. Now the reason we do the preliminary assessment then is that is the age um, where a puppy is conscious. They're actually learning, they're actually interacting with their environment, and we can see kind of a baseline of where they're at. So we do an assessment and we look a lot deeper into a bunch of different traits to kind of see what's going on. And then we do weekly assessments from there. So now it really is we know the puppy. We really know, we know the puppies now, but in the temperament test, we're seeing not just what the traits are, but what the traits were, how they evolved over time with working with them, and then what does that mean for continuing over time. So if we have a puppy at four weeks that shows maybe a little bit of nervousness or insecurity, if by five weeks we've been able to work on that and address it, and then at six weeks it's still fine, and at seven weeks it's still fine, that puppy's probably not nervous and insecure. It was just something that was situational. But if at four weeks we see it, and at five weeks we still see it, and at six weeks we still see it, then we know that that's now a, a characteristic of that puppy. So we feel like it'll give a much better picture. We've actually already sampled this a little bit with a couple of our litters because we wanted to get some feedback from you guys, from our clients, to hear what their response is to, and they absolutely loved it. But some that had gotten puppies before were like, wait a minute, this is different. <laughs> yeah. So this is um, something new. We're really, really excited about it. We'll be unveiling it coming up. Some of our younger puppies are already starting with these evaluations and these assessments so that we'll have this for the puppies going forward. Good, we're, we're so excited to be able to offer that to you guys. Um, the way we did it before was great. It was such a useful tool, but now this is just building on those facts and, and just doing a more in-depth mm -hmm. um, evaluation. Now, a lot of people do ask, um, can you count on the test that I received, those results, to carry on into adulthood? No. And, and it, Please explain. Absolutely. The temperament assessment, and that's part of it even with the former temperament test, it is a snapshot of who that puppy is right now. And it's kind of the classic nature versus nurture thing. But every bit of learning your puppy does from that assessment on changes who your dog is and what's going on with it. So just like we talked about at that four-week assessment, we can do things with the puppy that will make the five-week assessment be different. We can do things from there that will change because learning is happening so and taking place. you're figuring out how to teach that puppy. Mm -hmm. and work with the puppy and here's the thing before 49 days the puppy's brain is developing at 49 days which is when we do the final assessment it's where we used to do the temperament test that is now an adult brain the brain is no longer developing and forming so that's kind of your baseline what you've got to work with so all this stuff that we're doing prior to that we can take a puppy who's showing itself to be a little timid and nervous work with it and now we've totally changed his brain and how his brain processes right. things which is so exciting to be able to do that at this age but you know once you get your puppy home it's the learning and what he learns and what you teach him and how you work with him that's going to dictate what type of dog he's going to be so we give him a great foundation um, we 
can advise on the type of training that's best suited for your puppy, but it's very important what you do after the puppy comes home to you.